Happy Monday, everyone. I'm going to do something different today. I'm actually here in Newton, Kansas, smaller community, about 20,000 people. And I want to do a comparison uh, just for those people who live in communities who have a smaller population. They might have a Walmart and they might have Spark available. Maybe they have DoorDash available as well. We have DoorDash here in Newton. We also have Spark here in Newton. So I thought I'd show folks who are interested in this type of work for either part-time or side hustle work or full-time, what it may look like in their smaller communities. This Again, this town is about 20,000 people. There's one Walmart and there's about 30 restaurants that are on the DoorDash platform, big names like McDonald's, Subway, Sonic, Arby's, Papa John's. So there are orders going on throughout the day. And I wanted you guys to see what it looks like to work in a smaller community. So I'm going to track what my numbers are this week. I'll periodically go through those with you guys to show you what you could actually earn and see what the money to mile ratio would look like in a smaller community of about 20,000 people if you have Spark available as well as DoorDash. So here we go. We're at the Walmart now. We'll see how it goes. And we did get our very first order. It was a Spark order to customer pickup and it's $25 for two miles. So that's actually going to be $25 for four miles because with Spark, you always need to calculate going out to the customers and coming back to the Walmart here in Newton. That's a really awesome order. We're going to take care of that. Probably will only take us about 15 minutes total, maybe 20, and then we'll see what happens next. So after sitting here at the Walmart for about 20 to 30 minutes, we got a nice $22.81 by 2.2 mile shopping order that has 17 items on it. So this will probably take us about 30 minutes. Let's go get this money made. Got that Walmart shopping order done in about 20 minutes, guys. So we're two miles from the Walmart. We're going to head back there, see what can happen. We're coming into the lunch hour here in about 30 minutes. So might switch over to some DoorDash orders, but we'll find out. We'll see if Spark stays busy here in a smaller community or if DoorDash takes over. Let's find out together. So we've actually been pretty bored sitting here for an hour and a half since that last order. So lunch rush might be starting if there is a rush in Newton, Kansas. We'll find out. If not, we'll wait here and we'll grind this thing out. So we sat through the lunch hour here in Newton, Kansas and did not even get one DoorDash order. I am not a top dasher, so that affected that. I wasn't even able to get on Dash. But we did receive one Spark order, $15.59 for four miles. We are now at 2 o'clock and we're going to see how the afternoon goes here. It's 2.53 and I get a... DoorDash order 625 by 2.3 miles. We're going to do this one. Been a long wait, guys. Got to continue to make a little bit of money. So after that 625, I was able to go to get 731 by 3.1 Casey's Pizza order. Follow that one up by going to Sonic for $7.25. Took four miles there. Then we came to Walmart. Got an offer for a 1255 by 6.8 miles spark. Had to say no to that, guys. It was too far out, too far back for that $12.55. Immediately got an $8 by 5 mile oddball Uber Eats for this small community. And then followed that up with another Applebee's equaling $6.25. 2.6 so actually finished out the afternoon pretty strong so it's now 5 30 and i received a 24 by 4.4 spark three customer pickup order definitely going to take this order and we're going to rock and roll baby so as you can see behind me the sun is going down on this monday we only ended up getting two more orders to finish out our night here at seven o'clock PM, a $24 Spark order, as well as a $4.75 Arby's DoorDash. So finished out pretty slow. We're going to go to bed tonight, guys. We're going to get up tomorrow and see what Tuesday looks like. Have a good night. Well, good morning. Happy Tuesday, DoorDashers. We're back here near 10 o'clock in Newton, Kansas, and we're going to see what happens here and show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, long 40 minute wait. Got a pretty crummy $7 by two mile customer pickup order. I decided to take this because it's pretty slow right now. And Tuesdays are traditionally very bad days for delivery anyway. So we're going to get the day kicked off now. $7 by two mile Walmart Spark pickup order. So it's 1215 right now and I wanted to give a quick update. We 
ended up getting a 525 by five Casey's pizza order immediately after that $7 order. Not an order that I normally would want to take, but again, being Tuesday and being slow, I wanted to stay busy. And then I went over to Walmart and I waited and waited and waited probably a good 30 minutes and got an order for $13 by like seven miles. Didn't really want to take it, decided to reject it even though it's slow. And I ended up waiting for about 10 more minutes. Nothing else came along and they resent that order to me. So I did decide to take it mostly because it's so slow right now on a good note. The customer on the second drop off gave me a nice $5 cash tip. So that went from $13.38 up to $18.38. So I'm pretty happy about that. And we're going to continue through this lunch now from noon to about two to see if it picks up with DoorDash and go from there. Get back to the Walmart and receive a 13 by three. We're definitely going to take this order. We're going to get this afternoon started off right. After getting done with a $13 order, I received an $11.95 by 3.5 one customer order. Pretty lame lunch rush. We got no orders from DoorDash, but we did get two orders from Spark. And now it's 2.45 and we're starting off this midday with an awesome $32 by four order. You can see now that there's some orders that just aren't paying very well. And then there's some orders that are paying great. So keep that in mind, guys. A little Ric Flair going because we got back to back jacks a $15 by one shopping order. Let's keep going, guys. Woo! To finish out this afternoon, that's turned out pretty nice. We've got an $11.95 by 1.3 mile order. We're going to go into dinner on a good streak. As the sun sets behind me, we have one hour remaining on this day. Doing pretty good so far on this dinner. We'll see if this hour can bring any more luck. So guys, we are here at the final hour. We ended up getting four orders from five to eight. We ended up doing a 625 Arby's, came back for an $18.33 Spark pickup order, followed that one up with a $17 Spark pickup order, and we're going to cap off the night on a $7 by 1.5 mile Spark pickup order. So we ended up doing four orders throughout the five to eight o'clock period. I'll have the numbers for you here at the end. So all said and done, I got the numbers here for everyone to view. We had a lot better day today. We ended up just over $158 on 10 hours. Several more Spark orders, not very many DoorDash orders. You can see there are only two. But we did have 10 Spark orders. So pretty busy day with Spark. Pretty happy to see that on a Tuesday and pretty good profits. Just over $15 an hour. Till tomorrow, have a good night. Good morning, folks. I wanted to get out here a little bit earlier today. It's 8.30 this morning. I wanted to show you guys how it could go if we did a little bit longer day so you can see throughout the day the fluctuations of orders that come in the morning, middle of the day, and then towards the evening. So we're going to do that for you today. We're going to stay on with Spark and DoorDash this entire day to continue showing you guys what this week looks like. All right, guys, I'm ready. Got my coffee here in the car, hanging out at Walmart again. Received some really awful orders, a $4 and like 51 cent by 5.3 mile Dollar General. You want to be leery of those orders, guys, because you're going to have to go into Dollar General and shop. Takes extra time and the line is never quick at the checkout. Also, Dollar General is really, really bad about having all their items in stock. So you can run into some serious issues even finding the items for your customer. The second order that I received was a 225 by 5 McDonald's all the way across town and to an area I don't want to go. Wouldn't go there anyway for 225. So we're going to hang out here at Walmart sip on some coffee and see how this morning shapes out. So a pretty awful morning. Started at 8.30, it's 12 o'clock now. We've only done three orders, an $18 Spark, two Uber Eats orders equaling $24. We're at the 12 o'clock hour now, and thank God we just got a $29 by 1.7 mile Spark shopping order. Very excited to see this type of order. Following the $29 order, we got a $7.86 by 8.3 mile Burger King order from DoorDash. Decided not to take that order, too far to go. 
did end up grabbing a $15 by 1.2 mile shopping order from Spark. It was only one item, some hairspray. Took the hairspray in. Heim was up throughout the lunch. And now we're sitting here at 2.45, seeing how the midday is gonna turn out. We'll find out soon. All right, pretty slow midday. We got an offer for an $8 Walmart. I didn't want to take that. Didn't want to go out and back for $8. Ended up right after that getting an $11 by 1.2 mile shopping order. Only two items, so that took hardly any time at all. Then followed that one up with another $11.66 pickup order. So it's five o'clock now. We've gotten through the midday and we're gonna start off dinner on a $15.94 by one shopping order from Walmart. Let's get it going. Well, a little bit of a recap from last night. We started off with that 1594 by one, followed that up with a pretty good $15 by 2.9 mile order. Went immediately to a DoorDash Sonic for 525 by 2.3, and then had a wait period for about 45 minutes, but finished out the night on a $21 by 6.8 spark pickup order. It was for three customers. And then we tacked on a 625 DoorDash. So actually had a pretty solid dinner, 5 to 8.30. Finished out pretty nicely at $172 on this Wednesday, which is pretty surprising in my opinion for a small community. All right, good morning. Happy Thursday, folks. We're back in action here. 7.30 in the morning, and what do you know? We start the day off right with a wonderful $34 by 6, free customer spark order. Man, it's good to start like this. Hey, everybody. I wanted to give a quick update for what we had going on this morning. After that $34 order, we ended up with a 1038 by 6.5 DoorDash, all highway order. Ended up taking that, and then we went back to Walmart, got a spark order for $8 by four miles. Decided not to take that. That order actually got sent to me four times. Had to continue rejecting it, and I'm glad I did because I ended up with this. Oh, $42 by three spark order. Man, spark saves the day. After that giant $43 order, I ended up with a $13.86 by 2.6 shopping order. And that capped out the morning. I did have to take a break to take my kid to the doctor. So we're back out at it at 4.30. And we're going to be going for a $9 by 2.5 Uber Eats Freddy's. After finishing up that Freddy's, we took about a 20 minute break before catching another order for this start to a dinner rush. A $14 by 2.3 spark pickup order we're about done with it we're gonna see what comes along next so i'm sitting here at the walmart and they send me this eight dollar two customer pickup order it's 636 now can't even pick it up till 645 so i decide to not take this order and see if i can get a shopping order i just want everyone to know these pickup orders they aren't usually ready till 45 after the hour so when they dispatch them out, you need to pay attention to that. This is too small of an order for me to really want to take unless it's ready to go right now. And I think there might be some shopping orders coming up that actually come out on the hour. So I'm going to hold off and be patient and see what happens. All right, guys. So it's 6.50. We're trying to wait this out to see if we get a shopping order at the zero o'clock hour. And I did take a 5.75 by 3 freddy's doordash order fill the void here we'll see what happens as we drive over here to take care of this freddy's to see if we can get ourselves a good shopping order capitalize on those versus taking that nasty eight dollar by four so the sun has gone down i wanted to let everyone know i did get bailed out i never got a shopping order i got done with the doordash i got a nice ten dollar by four wendy's order that actually brought me right around the corner from the walmart turned out to be a nice 11.75 versus the ten dollar showing offer and i came here to the walmart and am finishing out the night on a twenty dollar by eleven spark so finished out really strong tonight guys remember i took a break in the middle of the day to help my child go to a doctor appointment that was about two to three hour break so today turned out really nice and guys i want to thank you for sticking with me all the way through these four days 
I can't wait to finish out tomorrow strong on a Friday and show you guys what this Monday through Friday really looks like. Thank you for sticking with me. Good night. Good morning, everybody. I'm here at Norm's Coffee downtown Newton. This is one of the cool things about coming to some of these older communities. The downtowns have some pretty awesome stuff to do. Here at 6.30 in the morning, I definitely needed my coffee, and I found this sweet shop. It's called Norm's Coffee downtown Newton, Kansas. I suggest you check it out if you're in the area, but also if you're doing this kind of stuff and you're traveling around the country, you get to see a lot of new faces and a lot of new places. Started off here this morning on a 624 by 3.5 right at 7 o'clock Casey's. Then we actually got a DoorDash 375 nasty order for 1.5. Didn't want to go there for $3.75, even though it's pretty early. Came over to Walmart, got offered a $7 pickup again at 730 and I can't even pick this order up till 7.55, so too long to wait for $7. Looking for something better than that, for sure. Capped off the morning here, I actually went on a little bit of a streak, three spark orders in a row, no DoorDash at all. Actually couldn't even get on Dash. Odd for a Friday, but that's okay. We got three spark orders. One was a 1757, and the other was a 788 by 2.5, and then finished up on a 1570. Now we're rolling into lunch. Oh, sweet everyone. We got a 15 by 0.7 shopping order to start this lunch. Things are looking good. We got another follow-up order right after that. $15 by 0.7 mile, $15 by three, another shopping order from Spark. And I want to let you guys know that last order had medication on it. If there are medications on your order, you may be required to ask for ID and get a signature from the customer. So that's just a quick tip for you guys. Continuing to get Walmart shopping orders. We've got another $13 by six mile here, and it's going to give us about 15 minutes to finish out the lunch period. Looking for one more order to finish it out strong. We roll into midday and it's pretty slow the first 10 minutes. No orders coming in. I get an oddball 36 by 34 multiple customer pickup and drop off from Sparks. I typically stay away from these orders, but I'm actually going to take it here because we're at the beginning of midday, typically a really slow period, and $36 looking at me in the face looks pretty good so far to start. Oh, I'm laughing now because we got it all loaded up. My car is packed to the gills. It's taken us an hour and 45 minutes to complete that order. Not really that bad, actually. Midday, kind of slow anyway, so I'm happy about that. Follow that one up with a 1328 pickup order, and we've got about 20 minutes remaining this midday to see if we can continue with a pretty solid midday, really, before we go into dinner rush. Going to end the day on a $15 by 4.2 Spark pickup been a nice ride with you guys. I'm glad you've been along this whole week. For those guys and girls who are interested in driving with Spark in a smaller community, hopefully this could help you understand what that could look like for you if you want to do it part-time, full-time, a couple hours a week. If you're looking to do it early in the morning, later in the evening, I'm telling you, you can really make some extra money, pay off some debt, pay down the credit card bills, maybe save up some money for a nice vacation. There's orders going on from early morning till sundown and it's really pretty easy work and pretty fun so i really enjoyed this trip with you guys get on my page start learning more about spark and all these other gig apps and make some money guys so we made it to the end of the week and i wanted to thank you guys again for being with me i've got the recap numbers here for the entire week pretty solid numbers we ended out at 801 dollars on our gross profit we drove for two dollars and 21 cents per mile which exceeds our goal of two dollars a mile it's actually very good mileage on our earnings this week and we worked for 50 and a half hours. So it took a little bit longer to make $800, but I did want to give a good picture of what it looks like to be here and uh, see what you can actually earn if you're up early in the morning, working all the way through eight o'clock. I hope this was helpful for everybody. I really enjoyed it. Have a nice day.